Hello, peeps. Quick one. Well, it won't be a quick one because I can talk. Um, as you can see, I've got a bit of a concoction going here, and I just thought I'd let you know what I'm doing, what I'm getting up to. Um, so, quickly, I got some mineral mix. Yogishi Goi, Yoshiki Goi, mineral mix. And I suppose for me, it sounds like it's a bit like mineral clay. However, so I was expecting for it to look exactly the same, and it is in consistency. However, um, the smell of it is quite sweet. Um, it's quite a sweet smell to it, which was really surprising. It's one of them things that you. You smell and you can't quite make out whether you like it or if you don't like it. However, you have to smell it. <laughs> um, and with a lot of these things, a lot of people call them like snake oil. Because like clay, it's very difficult to see the benefits of the claims of what it does. However, here's my philosophy. I never use them as recommended, really, because it gets too expensive. It's a money game. This Yoshiko mineral mix is £12.50 and it's 60 grams, only 60 grams, and that treats 2,600 gallons. So my pond's about 2,100, so I'm going to put all of that in there. And it recommends to do it, they recommend to do it once a month. So now to put aside £12.50 every month purely for this product. Um, obviously a lot of people aren't going to be able to afford that unless you're actually ripped with money so for me I see it as when I can afford it I put clay in and I put these things in because it adds something different it adds minerals to a pond which uh, or pond water um, you know, which won't have these minerals in so the fish will take certain parts of these up I'm quite sure through the gills when if the body needs it because bodies are very our bodies any animal bodies are very efficient things at doing and taking what they need so i'm going to put it in now i'm going to flip the camera around so bear with so we're now on the pond the skimmer and that's gone off or oh, the the air's gone off because it's feeding time. I've got it all set up to come on auto. So that will go off in a minute. So that's the mineral mix. I'll show you the back. The shiki going mineral mix. Sorry for the shake. Increased defence, better recovery, improved skin quality, eye gloss, longer lasting, youthfulness, better development, anti-oxidising and stabilising. The 100% natural mineral and vitamin mix, a unit combination of mineral and vitamin based on and from nature. Minerals such as calcium, phosphorus, zinc, iron, manganese, potassium, selenium, beta carotene, folic acid, vitamin A, B, B1, B2, B3, B6, B6, B8, B11, B12, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. All essential and non-essential amino acids, omega-3, fat acids, chlorophyll and nucleic acids. And you get this stuff from yoshikigoifood.co.uk mineral mix a lot of people know and have heard about yoshikigoi um, it's a polish um, koi farm they do cracking fish and they sell products and develop products like this now I've never used this before I'm not affiliated or anything like that. I've purchased this um, to try because it sounds good and like I say I will just chuck it in periodically if I've ever ordered from um, anyone that sells it such as Kirkis Koi I will ask them just to bung me some in and I'll buy it and then just put it in I think the added minerals and what's in here will be of benefit because these people not just these people anyone that develops this type of stuff regardless whether you think it's snake oil or not or doesn't do, a th do anything if you don't develop it and brand it for any reason um, I would say in all terms in all 
scenarios, the people that make this stuff and invest in this stuff know their stuff. So it does work. However, other things, other factors for me come into play. So it's very difficult to gauge the benefit. For example, if you give this um, in May, June, July, but then also you up your feed and the pond water's warm and we had a good, we have a good spring and summer, then your fish look better and they look stronger and they, you know, they start off well. Some people might go, oh, yeah, it's mineral mix that's done that, but you've got to be pragmatic and you've got to tie up all other elements, i.e. the conditions and everything else. A mad fish, look, look at them. They're bang on. Even though the, the, the temperature's really been 20 degrees this year in the UK, look at the fit as, fit as a fiddle. Apart from this one down here, it's always been a bit of a rump, that one's got a bit, had a bit of fungus treated last week, but all the rest are fit as a fiddle. The Yugisha Goy Kuro Kiko is coming on well and it looks like it's developed a little bit more orange to me look not as sickly a light if you like and these are all rounding up for a bit of uh, cherryos yeah I do feed them not very often I give cherryos but we've got some left floor clean the cereal tub you know cereals out I've <laughs> got some left so let's lob some in Koi absolutely love cereals now some people won't agree with this those people that really buy uh, branded foods, quality foods. I know for a fact that um, Nijikawa Koi. I know they won't recommend this because you know these people really are Koi top of the level keepers. So they don't believe in giving them treats and stuff. Stick to a good uh, natural balanced feed, and I normally do. But however, I do sometimes just to get rid of some stuff. Just lob it in for them. Just to give them a bit of variety, and they absolutely love that sweetness of these cherries. Look at them go for it. However, the biggest downside of doing that, and this is what um, food developers will say, and it will add to your waste, your load, your load. Excuse me. Um, there's no doubt that cherries won't digest as well as many top foods, and the best foods I've ever tried so far for low waste is uh, Nijikawa um, this year I've got some of that left all seasons for over winter um, but I use um, a koi food from Hopewells online and they're selling it's a £22 delivered for a 10 kilo sack I buy that because it's cheap and it don't produce a lot of waste actually and the koi seem to love it however it most definitely isn't good as a Nijikawa, which I, which I would love to feed all the time. It's in America, it's difficult to get. You can, f you can feel the difference. This um, cheaper food, you can put in your fingers and you can feel it. There it is. The cold food coming out. With a Nijikawa, it's more dense. So that type of food will fill them and be more fulfilling for them than the cheaper food there's no doubt about it so they might need more of this to consume more of this cheaper food to be full whereas the cheaper the more expensive stuff like Nijikawa they'd need less so actually the expense sometimes is outweighed by the quality and the amount they need anyway so that's mineral mix and there it is you can tell it looks a little bit like clay, but it's like got a, a greenish tinge to it, and I, I can tell you, it has got a sweet smell. Let me smell it again. God, I, I can't, I can't even describe this smell. But anyway, definitely not an unpleasant smell, and it's almost even on the edge of nice, like marmite. And I've got my coffee. Hmm coffee it. Sorry for the bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, so this is like in water. It looks like a, well, so it doesn't dissolve like um, clay, that's for sure. It's more suspended. Um, no instructions per se 
One pack contains 60 grams of mineral mix and is sufficient for 2,600 gallons of water. So there's no advice on how to dissolve this stuff. Um, so I'd imagine you just lob it in and don't see your fish for a couple of days. Now in water, it's got a bit of a bluish look to it. So I think what I'm going to do is lob it in. There it goes. Don't mess about. Still some left in the tub. Quite sticky. There it is. It's definitely not dissolved. So I'll leave that to I've scared the fish off now. I'm going to upset them, I know. So I'll leave that to dissolve, and I might give it a bit of a mix up with, uh, I might get my hose out and just give it a bit of a blast in. But I'm assuming that the koi can nibble on it, you know, take a bit in, ingest it. It's got to be digestible, hasn't it? Otherwise, it won't be the form it's in. So hopefully, you know, I'll get it more mixed up. Coming up, got one more minute left. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, I'll report back how it um, goes with this mineral mix. I'm probably not going to have much to report on to be fair, because like I say, it's very difficult to see the benefits. However, my philosophy is it will have some benefit, even if I can't see it, because I'm adding different stuff to the pond, so it's like, you know, getting different minerals and stuff like that. So it's only be good. But I won't be doing it every month, because I can't afford it. £12.50 a month now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please comment on um, Interact if you want me to do, talk about anything, show anything. Some more videos coming up. Have a great day. Sunday, wet today, beautiful yesterday. Goodbye. Please come back and check me other videos out. Join Friendly Koi Keepers on Facebook. Cheers.